Now, I'll be honest with you about something. I can, I can remember, I don't know exactly the day, but I remember it's a number of years ago. I remember praying and telling God that I loved him. And all of a sudden, it dawned on me, I felt like I had marbles in my mouth. And I finally had to say, God, I don't know whether I do or not. Somehow, it's not, it's not ringing in my spirit. It sounds good. I've been saying it a long time. I love you, God. But on that day, it's like the Spirit of God just jumbled my words and made me realize I didn't know what I was talking about. And I began to realize I didn't really love him the way he wanted me to love him. I had an affection for him. And then as the Lord opened my eyes and helped me to see, I somehow had a very difficult time accepting his unconditional love. Because I grew up believing that somehow I had to deserve it. Somehow I had to merit his love. And on that day I realized, no, I did not really love him. I had an affection for him. But it was the beginning of bringing me to a realization of what true, genuine love for God is all about. I think about also another issue, and that is this issue of of openness and transparency. Because you see, you can't have an intimate relationship with somebody you're holding secrets from them. And when you think about how people live oftentimes and live a lifestyle that is not a lifestyle of openness and honesty and transparency, how can you have a relationship with somebody who's keeping secrets and keeping things from you? Well, you can't because we go back to the whole issue of trust, what's going on. So think about this. When you pray and you talk to the Lord, do you open your heart totally? Do you say to him, Lord, I know I've sinned against you. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. You said 1 John 1, 9. That's what I'm claiming. Amen. That won't work. Transparency says, God, today I was very, very lustful. Today I was very prejudiced. Today I should not have opened my mouth and said that. Today I was very critical. Today, whatever it might be, openness honesty and transparency. The God is with us. And you see, to have, tra- to, to have intimacy, it's got to be both ways. Listen, God wants you to know Him. He desires that you know Him fully. He created you to reveal Himself through you because He wants to express His love. He's an awesome God of love. He wants to express it. He desires to express it. And He wants us to do the same. And without that openness and transparency, you're not going to have, you're not going to have intimacy. So, so somebody says, well, okay, so once I, once I have that relationship, uh, what, what can I feel? What can I sense? You see, we are sort of like this. Well, let me give you some words. First of all, stability. When a person has an intimate relationship with the Lord, it's like, it's like that there is an, an anchor that's there that no matter what wind blows against you, it's going to be okay because you know God is there in you and with you. There is this sense of security within you. takes away the fears because he's not up yonder. He's inside, and you have this intimate relationship with him. So there's security, there's stability, there's serenity, and that is this quietness in your spirit that no matter what's going on, there is this sense of quietness and peace, and contentment, because you're talking to Him, you're listening to Him, you have, you have built that relationship. There is also a sensitivity. Now, watch this. There's not only a sensitivity to the Lord, but there is a sensitivity. Listen, when you have an intimate relationship with Him, you, you, you have who He is on the side of you. You'll find yourself very sensitive to other people. I don't mean their criticism necessarily. You might have a little bit of that, but you'll be sensitive to their needs, their hurts, their personhood. There'll be something. In other words, God, God, listen, because God is in you, He's relating to other people. Listen, through His Spirit, He's relating to their need, their emotional, spiritual need. He witnesses to that. And all they can do is give us credit And what they don't realize is that God is working in their life. Now, there are three barriers. So you might want to jot these down. There are three barriers. And here's the first one. It is pride. 
don't pray because I can handle it. We don't ask him, I'll work it out. It's pride. The reason people don't get on their knees, except their physical things sometimes, is pride. How, how can you be too prideful to get on your knees to holy, righteous, sovereign God? Every breath you have is a gift from him. Somebody says, I don't need to get on my knees. No, you don't. You don't need to honor God. You don't need to reverence God, but you get what comes with that. It is pride who keep, that keeps us off our knees. Pride that keeps us in sin. We'd rather have a relationship with somebody than God. The second thing is rebellion. Sin. As long as there's sin in our life, there's no intimacy with God. When people say, well, I pray, but, but nothing happens. I pray, but God isn't answering me. I pray, and mm -hmm -hmm, then you need to look at yourself and ask yourself the question, God isn't the problem, you're the problem. There is no intimacy where there is rebellion. Now, think about this. You have to think about your own relationships. Can you have an intimate relationship with a husband or wife who's just rebellious against you? No, you cannot. You can't have an intimate relationship with your children if they're in rebellion in their life. And then the last one is real simple. If it's pride, if it's rebellion, and then if you're in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, you won't develop an intimate relationship with God. It takes time. Time to read His Word and meditate upon it. Think about it. Ask questions. God, what are you saying to me? Lord, how does this apply to my life? Is this a warning? Is this something that I, I need to look at in my life? Oh, Lord, thank you for this wonderful promise. Time to read. Time to talk to him. Time to listen to him. Cannot tell you how very important that is.